pleiotropy. The multiple effect of a single gene is called pleiotropy, and the gene is called as pleiotropic gene. These genes may not have equal influence on all the traits they control but it may cause a very evident expression of its specific trait, and a less evident effect of its other trait. Pleiotropy is the converse of polygenic inheritance in which two or more genes have an additive effect on a single phenotype. For example sickle cell anemia. To understand pleiotropy first let's understand what is sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is an autosomal hereditary disease found among certain African tribes, where the biconcave RBCs turn into sickle shape, reducing the surface area to carry oxygen. This disease is caused due to recessive gene HBS in homologous condition and is lethal, while the normal healthy gene is HBA. The people with heterozygous genes develop mild anemia in which the RBCs become sickle-shaped, or half-moon-shaped and this leads to oxygen deficiency. Thus, the gene for sickle cell anemia is lethal in homozygous condition, but produces sickle cell trait in heterozygous condition. This means two different expressions are produced by a single gene, that are sickle cell carrier and sickle cell anemic and thus it is an example of pleiotropy. Here is a cross between two sickle cell anemia carriers both having the genotype HBA-HBS. Each of these parent produces two different gametes, which further produces offsprings with three different genotypes and phenotypes. The first type of offspring produced has genotype HBA-HBA, which means the offspring is neither a carrier nor anemic but normal. The second type of offspring has genotype HBA-HBS, which means the person is a sickle cell anemia carrier. While the third type of offspring produced has the genotype HBS-HBS, which means the person is sickle cell anemic and may die. These are produced in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. Here is a checkerboard representation of the same cross between sickle cell carrier parents. Thus a marriage between two sickle cell anemia carriers produces one normal, two sickle cell carriers and one sickle cell anemic children in the ratio 1 to 2 to 1. But as the anemic child dies, the ratio of sickle cell carriers and normal becomes 2 to 1. This completes pleiotropy. Comment down if you have any doubts. To watch other videos on post-Mendelian genetics, click on the link above.